What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off last episode, we captured the city of Vienna and now we are fighting yet another massive Prussian bridge battle. But this time we have our heavy artillery to do some very good counter battery work against their artillery. It means I can deploy one of these guns, I can definitely have one of these guns deployed across the ford, or deployed across the crossing of the ford, to keep firing canister shot. I've got three howitzers to deploy copious amounts of quick climb, and I've still got a good amount of artillery and infantry to cover all of my fronts. So, without further ado, let us intercept Erbhard Vingard and force him to bring to battle all these other Prussian troops. Lots of elite good troops as well. Let's go kill them. But again, like I said, because of my deployment, there shouldn't, asterisk, be anyone coming in from behind our, uh, our crossing. And I'm feeling pretty confident because we've got this army. We've got another good strength army behind that. Then we've got another army that's a bit ragtag, but to be honest, um, if they've smashed through two full strength armies, then... You know, they deserve the win. <laughs> Pretty much. Ooh, bridge on the left, on the right this time. Okay. So let's deploy three units to cover the bridge, as is tradition. Let us deploy our howitzers and our great gun, like so. Let us deploy how it says like so. It provides very good quick climb coverage ready over the breach. And that does give us a lot of troops to cover the breach. I'm going to put one unit of cavalry on our side and one cavalry over on the right just in case. And then we've got a foot artillery unit that will walk up into position. Oh! <gasps> No, 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 no! Bad, 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 bad! Okay, 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 okay. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run! Okay, 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 okay. Um, if you guys have seen the map... We have got a lot of junk coming at us from multiple directions. So these Janissaries and the Armoured Cavalry, they are going to be busy. We're not going to contest this crossing here. Cassier and General's Bodyguard? No, we are certainly not. Howitzer's dropping quickly. I need to fire every, in every direction pretty much now. It's probably why it's a good it's a good decision to uh, pull everybody back pull them back to form kind of a more of a circular defense Let's drop into square oh, no need Now it's just dropping quick line, focus on the armies crossing the river for the most part, because that's the bulk of their forces. To be honest, where's my cavalry? Let's push them up. So I think this must be where the, the second army is coming in from. These men engage the general. You guys drop into square. Charge my cavalry forward. You guys unlimber. Keep blasting that section of the crossing with cancer shot, even though these men aren't truly in range. Quick climbing cavalry. Uh, quick climbing artillery has done some good damage. Keep making sure it does good damage. Let's 
bring our cavalry into there, or down to there. They've spotted my general's bodyguard. So I'm having to charge my general into theirs. Folks fire their artillery. Just because I don't want my general to die. So my artillery is fine. Focusing on their last gunner. Well, I am curious if this is... which direction their reinforcements coming in. It could well be over here, in which case we fight this low-key battle against their general. And that might be it. But let's get our armoured cavalry back. Okay, I think it's over here. In which case we could... Not my howitzers. Well, no, 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 well, I suppose they aren't my howitzers. They're my field artillery. Well, fortunately, my cavalry was within range to do some good damage. Yeah, it's those. It's over here. Okay. So if I can get my Themat Janissaries over, bring my cavalry over to preemptively hold the crossing, you guys can then run over. So my gunners, you also, you go over there, you guys take up that gun team, my cavalry run back. They're going to attempt a crossing. Fortunately, everyone's doing good stuff when it comes to taking out their units. Bodyguard push up. Let's get my some line infantry up. Oh, Curassier's intercepted me, eh? Not anymore, they didn't. You, got, you guys, yeah, you guys charge them. Don't just stand there looking at them. Heavy cavalry to hit the Feldjäger. So, yeah, you're still just a shattered troop. My infantry are opening up against men crossing the breach, which is great, but I also want to try and. Okay, you guys dump into square. My cavalry are fighting their, Feld, uh, fighting their Feldjäger and also fighting their Cuirassier. If you guys could draw in these light horse that'd be great yes in you go okay my armored cavalry is going to charge up ready to counter charge those hussars we should win this combat against the felt jaeger i mean they've got a temporary advantage we are quick climbing the bejesus out of them at the crossing. But I am now very much aware that they have another... This is where the bulk of their new army is coming in. Keep engaging. So we've countercharged their light hussars, so they probably won't won't stand. My Israelis are upset. Let's 
run my armoured cavalry over the bridge. Those are my cavalry teams. So what I've got my eye on is the possibility that we cross over and uh, we cross over and we try and trap their reinforcements as they come in. Because over here it looks like yeah, looks like Quicklime's doing a grand job. So this looks to be where the bulk of their new forces are coming in. A garrison of Zars, if we could run them to the riverbank. If I can get my Israeli across the bridge, this is risky. It's very risky, but my chief priority, I don't have. Well, I have to unlimber pretty much. I have to limber up all my howitzers and push them over onto this flank. But it is tempting. Although, to be honest, they are going to be pouring a lot of troops in very quickly from this front, so maybe not a good idea. Although weirdly... Run my cavalry away. Okay, these forces have all been destroyed. I can cross these men over the river. I can unlimber. I can limber up that field artillery piece. I can try and set up a new firing point. Well, we got to cross it now. Oh no! Oh wait, where have they come from? Where have they come from? Stand back, you men! Get over here quickly! Just you men. Why the? Why is this? I suppose the deployment's not working. It's quite a long, delicate deployment zone. He lured me in. So who are they? Marines, grenadier guards. Okay, these men deploy and then just get ready to engage. You guys can just. Attack the general's bodyguard unit right there. These guys need to pivot immediately. These guys are committed now. So just getting my janissaries in there. These guys can switch fire it will on. Yeah, my troops are pushing up. Understandably, my yeah, my, my other infantry is upset. Limber up. Engage the grenadiers with quicklime. Keep my cavalry held back for emergencies. So this crossing over here is a terrible idea. Well, then my armoured cavalry is sticking out. And their light infantry has charged me. Okay, let's pull my infantry back. Let's unlimber both of these howitzer units. I 
pull the cavalry back. Yeah, that crossing was not the most well orchestrated, although I would like it if these guys came back, because I could then start to form a bit of a... Interference force. Although those light infantry have routed. Okay, well these men might stay as they are and skirmish across the river. My howitzers are desperately attempting to do as much damage as possible. My light infantry are going to eat a cavalry charge. These men are about to get charged as well. And there go the gendarmerie. probably want to push these two units up to support that battle you two guys can go like this let's allocate some of these quick climbing howitzers to do some good work so where's my reinforcements coming from Sipahi, weak Sipahi, where are you? Why are you coming in? Well, you'll have to do. Good stuff, again, more weak Sipahi. Send these guys to charge in like, to the flank on these grenadier guards. armoured cavalry into the fight against the line infantry as well. It's likely going to upset my our guys more than their guys. Pick new targets. So you really need to start winning on this right flank. Which may as well just charge the cavalry in. Keep these guns on the trajectory they're heading. Our Sorelis are in. Armed cavalry's in. Keep my bodyguard down here. I do not like where this is going. Keep our artillery firing. Okay, so our cavalry has been understandably routed. Deploy our guns over here. So our cavalry is doing good stuff in the combat over here. Howitzers, goody goody gum drops. Howitzers. So when this gun team unlimbers, they can hit the second regiment. Drop you guys into square because the third regiment are coming in to get you. deploying my men get these guys just to unload quick lime
Good God, you got these guys aren't even in the battle yet, so I might have to start quick climbing the bejesus out of them. Where's this general's bodyguard? You're gonna have to get involved. Cavalry's been routed. Howitz is off on the flank, are doing some good work. Cavalry sharpshooters. Oh, my men are starting to fall. Uh, probably need to start dropping some, dropping some good quick climb onto these guys. Maybe even to the point of falling them back. Sec bands, they're good. They're good value for money. Our right flank is broken, which isn't great. Canister shot, the gendarmerie. Let's begin falling back. You guys... You guys hit the gendarmerie. You guys aren't the immediate priority. I don't quite know why you guys were trying to get into uh, trying to get into combat. Light cavalry sharpshooters are trying to get in. This howitzer on the flank should be doing some good work against the uh, marines and so on. You guys came back. General's bodyguard charged the Floyd Corps. Massive foot artillery unit, to be honest. You guys can just unlimber and f open up on these men on the west bank. My generals died immediately. Understandable. So, you guys pour fire into the flank of these marines. Push my men up. Good, if I can break the Grenadier Guards, that would be so useful. Nope, they came back. Okay, good. We've seen off the enemy here. Run my men in. You guys definitely focus the men pushing down that flank. You guys hit probably those cavalry sharps. Actually, no. You guys round shot second regiment of horse. Try getting my Sapahi in there. Ooh, have I got a sick man? Sereli, Sereli, Sereli. Send a general to go knock out that artillery team. Kill that regiment of dragoons. My quick climbing howitzers, I think, can now start to focus on Nizam infantry. Good, good, good. Run, run, run. Same with you guys. Oh no. So that's always the problem with deploying artillery immediately after you've brought them onto the field. So let's run these Nizam over here. Mm, 
you can go hit that artillery unit. There's a militia conscript unit coming in behind. But let's keep these men formed as a defensive unit. My artillery can engage those horse artillerymen. That's my 24 pounder foot artillery on the way out. Bring these houses closer up so they can help provide more support. You can limber up. You men almost need to exclusively focus on this new front. Let's immediately run these Nizam out of the way. Preemptively switch to canister shot because we know that's what's going to come in. You guys aren't shooting where I want you to shoot. You can charge these guys into the light infantry. These men should be enough to force all of these units back because they've got copious amounts of artillery support. To the point where you men probably don't even need to go over to the to the crossing. You guys can come up here. Pull these men back. Uh, to be honest, run my run that general's unit over. This general's doing good stuff, although I don't know if the general's already been killed from this unit. There's a dragoon regiment. So who is over here then? It's just a bunch of artillery, yes? Bring more howitzers in. Okay. Lots more cavalry coming in. That's not brilliant news. My Sipai, you can try and. Yeah, they broke one of their horse artillery units. And you can also then hit the second regiment. Another one of our glorious generals has died in battle. Where have they come from? Get these sec bands over here, because if they get to my guns, that's it. Okay, quick canister shot of those marines. I can probably spare one howitzer unit to help fight them. They must have crossed over. Let's just get these guys to start dropping quick line. Well, that might be a no, I need to get my sec bands involved, so I need you guys to unlimber, fire round shot at those guys. Okay, you cancel shot at those guys. The cavalry's coming in. Didn't even turn fire well on for those guys. No, oh, you guys form your line again. So my Sapahi should probably win against Marines, because they well these Marines, because they were depleted. You guys continue engaging the 14th Regiment, there we go. The 1st Regiment of Militia have been knocked out, so now it's just the Light Infantry on the left. Freikorps to the centre. The Marines have been taken out, so I can march my set bands up. You 
those hit there, you guys canister shot the dragoons if you can get a shot off. You guys can draw a deploy into square. How it's can deploy where it is. The guns can walk in. You canister shot the bejesus out of the 14th. Ooh, okay. A lot of support needs to go over here because those units are all at full strength. Those Dragoons are likely to fall. These infantry can go back into line. These howitzers focus on that unit of Marines. There's a unit of Republican Guard behind them. This 24 pounder can also focus on that unit of Marines. This unit focus on the superior line. So this unit, the 85th Auto, is doing a stupendous job, but looks like they're going to charge them. Despite the holes being blasted into the line. Yeah. Can you guys hit the 14th? These are just light infantry and militia, so I like my guy's chances, but let's run some support over. There is no loose artillery to take advantage of. These handful of guns that are wrecking the marines as they come within range. Okay, very dangerous, close. Quick climb there. You guys might be better served going after those Republican Guard. There's my infantry here, so you're doing good work against these conscripts. Good. So these units can now run over. These guns can limber up and also come over here. to shot that unit of foot infantry. Might group these guns into one posit one unit, just so I'm aware of what unit they are. They can focus on this front, all of this artillery can be grouped and probably backed up with this unit of Israeli, so I know who these guys are. You can also join them. Focus on the 5th Republican Guards. You guys charge this unit of Marines. They've charged some cavalry into our last artillery unit. I mean... these guys want to bayonet charge our artillery I mean I'm curious how they foresee that working but we are going to catch them with our Nizam before that happens and charge into the militia their charge in the center is broken bring our cavalry back yeah my gunners have fallen back okay our howitz is engaged and send up some of our israeli as a sacrificial offering reorientate these nizam in the woods The 
how are you guys doing for ammo? You've all got ammo. Good stuff. My Nizam should win against these this militia. My artillery is rolling on. Let's run my janissaries up. Okay, they're now within canister range of this new artillery position. This foot artillery unit can engage the marines. Well, the Nizam, this Nizam infantry can about turn and do good work. I know these guys won't be happy for very long because they are being shot in the flank. Charge with my general's bodyguard. These are all militia conscripts, dragoons. The sort of thing my sec bands would love if they can stick around. Push these Nizam up to fire into the back of these men. Push these men up as well. Both cannons to shot this unit of Republican Guard. 25th Order are unhappy. But that's to be expected. All of this artillery can focus on the this unit of line infantry. Come on, sec bands. This is what you guys love. They'll have a grand time there. These guys with kind of shot can engage that unit of line. The conscripts are going to get shot to bits by artillery. Those land van militia have routed. My general's going to charge, or can't continue to harass. The sec bands can stand a post. Okay, let's take these artillery units and get them to stop firing. Actually, you stop firing. Put some Nizam and some, oh, and, uh, some Israeli onto the flanks of these conscripts, and then that will probably be the end of it so that's been that's been a river battle with a twist go on Otter. present ah oh, there we go <laughs> we've lost all of our generals because you needed to throw all of our cavalry into every engagement to keep us alive and the quick line comes roaring in Oh. oh my. Close victory. Very close. So you know that guff at the start where I was there going, oh, if they get to our depleted army, then we're already screwed. Well, we nearly damn well were, but they were suffered a lot more than we did. So that's blown quite a large hole in their, <laughs> the, the centre of their line. As much damage as it caused us, it caused them a whole lot more. They de Sweden demands fire by rank for money and they offer military access. No. You have no military access where I want to attack Sweden, but it's actually very good intel to know they don't have fire by rank. Do I just declare now? Because I know they can't match me in the field? It's probably a good option. Ah, the Moog was going to declare on me again, I see. Or maybe, well, no, they're going to declare on me. That's usually what the AI does. 
Especially as they're now trying to steal my technology. Because they see how enlightened and efficient and devastatingly our troops are. Sm uh oh. Where are you going? Okay. Methinks they wanted to invade. Uh, they wanted to invade Mysore. Okay. So. So, so, so. Don't worry about the Americas. Let's go up to Northern Europe. So this army, you can now recruit a new general. Sak Sakizli Safet. Unfortunately, we probably lost some of our good generals. Although, Mr. Darnat, you're still okay. You... Okay, we need men now. So let's get some Nizam up to Murad Mutar. You're in quite good nick. She can probably march up to Hanover. See if we can just demand the surrender for now. Which we got. Uh, let's take... Can this force leave Dresden? Minus one. Yes, we can. They'll, be, they'll complain, but that's it. Let's push you up. Yeah, Austria's chilled out. You can now recruit some Nizam infantry take up. Actually, is it, was it Nizam? No, it was artillery. I want to save this for siege gun recruitment. Expand the troops in Venice. Move these men up. To be honest, can you guys leave Venice? They can, staggeringly. Uh, these men can go and take position in the city, just to make sure they do they do behave the way you want them to. Let's keep our yeah, your agent, my agent's moving along to Milan. Yeah, Mr. Gavotto brought his troops back to Rome. Burgess upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade the port. So Hanover, why don't why don't you like us? Well, you only just don't like us a little bit. So which army is the less depleted? This one. Take that bridge. Cover Hanover from the northwest. Then you could also seek to bring up... Actually, no, the reinforcing army has cavalry in it, doesn't it? It does. So what probably makes sense for this army... And uh, I didn't get to catch his name. Let's just recruit like two of different stuff. Just keep having them recruit men that are useful. I mean, these Sek Banjanasi riflemen are going to have to come in from a long way. Let's get two units of regular line. Yep. Let's just fill them with a mixture of units that we can draw upon. Ah, you were going up here. Not too bad. You are now going to go take position in the town let's repair upgrade the infrastructure this army can go auto resolve the fight against these Austrians I mean, not these Austrians Prussians you fellas replenish let's repair these buildings that are actually part of Austria's territory Bavaria, let's build a madrasa. Let's destroy the seminary here. Let's upgrade you to a craft workshop. Repair this fella. 
march this guy along here as well. Because these two armies are probably going to go and try and hit Stuttgart before these are before they can declare on us and fire these armies out into the wider world. Push these men up to here. To be honest, push you out of the town to here. Quite a good general advance, really. I probably can't leave Bavaria. Not for a while. Prague is okay. Prague actually recruiting more men for another army. Which is a good call. So what's the diplomatic case for not declaring war on Sweden? It's because they're allied with... Ooh. They're not allied with, allied with Britain anymore. That's pretty good. That could be quite a good call, I think, because then I de de deploy an army to block the crossing, deploy an army to go secure Finland, which I don't know is he even occupied in the minute. Oh, it is. It's got, it's got a small army. But we can take it. Make sure our coastal ports are occupied. Uh, I think it's probably a good call. So I can deploy, yeah, deploy the force here to stop this army from supporting St. Petersburg. And to be honest, I know prestige doesn't really matter because <laughs> we're doing hella good. Uh, diplomacy, Sweden. So they are described as mighty and rich, whereas we are terrifying and spectacular. So in terms of tech, they don't have fire by rank or steam engine. We've got everything... We've got everything they have. They don't have these. To be honest, while they don't have fire by rank, it's probably advisable to attack. Especially if their only ally that we're not at war with is Mysore. Um, we are trading with Mysore, so we could expect an economy hit. To the tune of 5,000-ish cash. But to be honest, if we lost all of our trade, then we'd still be in positive. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So let's take this navy. Let's give this guy, this guy an admiral, Navy Hamid. Sail over to the crossing. The reinforcements are blocked. Well, I definitely sent the wrong. Navy to do it. Okay, so then this army deploy aboard ship. Then diplomacy, major nation, Sweden. Let's do this in stages. Cancel trade agreement. Declare war. Don't call our allies in. Mysore hasn't been joined, hasn't joined them, and we are still trading. So they lost their alliance with Mysore. And they are unhappy. Deploy the army. Send the navy up to scout out their ports. So let's raid it. Raid Visby and occupy it. Although, to be honest, a better idea is to garrison or to blockade Malmo so they get no trade get our men back in and start to recruit some probably a handful of force to keep raiding their ports to make sure they don't build any new ships to be honest let's send a third rate along to occupy the port and then this army that's been sat here for a hell of a long time is going to march to the west the north and this army that's really badly balanced like we don't need siege guns for this we need field artillery and we need cavalry not 
Okay, let's deploy two infantry into here, combine these units together. And then this guy needs to sit there and recruit some armoured cavalry that will take a long time to get here and some mamelukes. But then they are also ready to go hit St. Petersburg. Yes, yeah, so they're getting some reinforcements from this. Uh, are, they, are they getting some reinforcements in from across the... So I don't know who you... Oh, I totally did not mean to click fight. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, I guess I'm fighting it then. <laughs> um, I meant to click maintain siege. But whatever, let's do this. 50 minutes in and we're starting a major seed. Why not? <laughs> this is going to be a long episode. Okay, artillery. Hunker down, a very, this is a very green force. Okay, let's let's go for a fairly bog standard formation till we know what we've got. Okay. So we don't really have much choice but to do. general offensive and I've left an infantry unit exposed all the way over here who is it? Janissaries eh? Janissaries like dragoons Yeah, my giant actually more than happily chase down your dragoons. Quickly, I've really cleared out that regiment of infantry. Okay, let's go for their men like so. This poor line infantry unit marching up alone to fight my Nizam. are going to get chewed up. And I definitely retargeted my artillery. So what are you, pikemen? Okay, I'm not going to advance into the pikemen. I'm going to advance my left flank, stagger them up like this. I actually killed a few of my janissaries here. fact let's start to get my get my hearts is primarily focusing on said um, infantry so these dragoons have snuck in behind our lines Lish is going to engage. Pikemen are still... They're going strong, but I don't think they're going to make it across that open ground. Which is good. Except for this. That's not good at all. So these guys that don't currently have a role...
the uh, enemy are kind of are going to crash in, crash into our flanks in a position we really don't want them to. You men charge that general's bodyguard immediately. But you guys kill that general's bodyguard quickly. Get these genissaries over here to try and help out against the pick and ra or whatever the hell they are. Although, to be honest, looks like this is going to be a bit of a shit show. Okay, you men, less the general and so on. form a new defensive line throw my janissaries in any of these units that may survive so two janissary musketeers and these janissary musketeers you guys are enough to form a new defensive line, run our janiss janissaries behind. Now you're engaging the general's bodyguard, hopefully kill them. You guys might actually do some good work against the back of these pikemen, that's why we've sent in our janissaries. You guys run back because you've made good progress if you guys could kill the general's bodyguard that'd be great you guys get firing against the foot guards I don't know where the hell these janissary musketeers are running good general's bodyguard and these pikemen while well, they were routing anyway So leave my janissaries up there to take the take the hit. Okay, so now I can line up my troops like this. You men blast the troops that are running up. General's been killed. You get into square, run my semi over to try help them out. Getting a bit close for my howitzers to do much good, so they might have to start firing at longer range targets. There's a general bodyguard. hit that lifeguard regiment you also engage the general's bodyguard good so they got another pikeman unit coming in but they are now significantly depleted before making it to our line Then we can destroy that regiment of militia. Okay, line up our Nizam. Our quick climb howitzers do have to start aiming at different units because we don't <laughs> we don't have too much of a good position. Sure, these guys have got guard mode on. These men can attempt to fight, but then this unit of Nizam will be pouring musketry into their flank. K 
Okay, these guys can now limber up. Let's bring over this general's bodyguard to try and chase down some of these raiding or these soon to be fleeing or well they are fleeing Swedish troops. and these men can well this artillery can get back over here I don't quite know why it's not going in a straight line it's going in like this weird formation but this is what I wanted because it allows me to then pull my infantry back and start to make this less of an aggressive step. Yeah, they're bringing in Swedish cavalry. Which is to be suspected, they are Swedish after all. Those cavalrymen are going to get shot to pieces. Regiment has fallen back. These men are all reloading. Okay. We need to be careful because the reinforcements coming in behind them, which is leaving them in not a great position for pursuing because they are my cavalry having to run a bit of a gauntlet past a bunch of spikes 70th yeah they've been broken so then now we can start to get the the counter encirclement going So you need to watch out for these. Actually, you keep going after the proper troops. Away from those militia. Got more cavalry coming in. Well, they might not even make it for in, in the first round of combat. No, nope, there they go. They look wicked. But they're lousy horsemen in this game. Okay, you chase after that militia, it's safer. Another unit of cavalry coming in. They haven't taken any losses yet. targeting so the general might kill a complete unit hopefully prior to crossing that line of spikes good now go chase after the 70th some cavalry charges on the right flank Okay, let's keep our line moving up in a fairly joint manner. Don't let any unit get stuck out of position. So right now these guys are a bit vulnerable because of the push. Their push on the left. So let's focus some how to fire down onto the left flank. Open fire. The second regiment. Well, they've been cleared out. Can 
Okay, good. Those men have come back from routing, but... They're only irregulars. Let's bring our camels over. Keep our engagements. Keep our we'll keep our howitzer barrels hot. General's bodyguard coming in. Um, so we're in we're fighting in St. Petersburg and we've got some mighty camel nomads. Okay, let's cool off the quick climb, it's getting a bit close. Actually, let's charge my camels into the combat here on the, the flank. Two very good units of line infantry. They're getting shot at point blank range by the guerrilla mercenaries. But they're about to have an almighty shock. Ah, my men are reloading. So your men haven't fought against camels before. Scary and noisy. So you smash that, you know, guerrilla mercenaries. Camel nomads are charging in. You'd think they would... Yeah, okay, let's get them out of there. Okay, general's fallen. Okay, let's maybe not keep our cavalry back on round shot. We need to keep engaging these enemy concentrations wherever they lay. And for some of my guys, that means running away from pikes. So two units of pikemen on the left flank. Janissaries. Not that I'm overly worried, because we are cleaning them up on the right flank, so if they do smash our left, then we've got... ...staying power. Especially when the guerrilla mercenaries run through the middle of our line. I mean, there go the mercenaries. So these, this looks like an elite unit. Nark Ivanland Regiment of Foot. Okay, fire it will off, fire it will on. If you can't work out who to shoot, you can start your process again. Well, it looks like that's exactly what's happened. They can't work out who they're going to shoot. So I have to give them manual order. Run, camels. Run, be free. The pikemen want to kill you. Okay, let's push. Up our line. There we go. Melee infantry versus melee infantry. General's bodyguard can hit the irregulars. These men storm up. To be honest, the Mamluk guards can go and hit these pikemen in the rear to try and knock them off balance. Okay, 
which case these guys may also charge them in the rear. Let's see if this weird targeting problem persists, but it looks like it's not going to. It looks like the... Yeah. The eighth has been knocked out. Pivot the line. My guys are upset, chiefly because their pokemen are doing a lot of damage to us. But my men are in uh, significantly better shape, so if I run my Janissaries out of the way. These men will be exposed to the Orta to be engaged. And it looks like that's it, I think. So I want to continue. Let's top our Sipahi from walking through the lines. And the reason why I wanted to continue is because they've got a bucket load of cavalry. Well, bucket load of pikemen still within attack range. So my general can chase down the pikemen. This unit of Sipahi can try and pick an actual unit to kill. Because this was a huge block of pikes. So I wanted to finish them off. My Sipahi still doing good damage. This unit before it gets to rout. Why oh, actually kill them all? Oh, I did. Ah, my general died running into these damn spikes. Stupid Sweden. Ugh, what a way to lose a general. Although, that has knocked them out, even though it shouldn't, they shouldn't have been able to cross. Like, I'm sure that was a thing. Let's pick up a new general. S Suleiman Sat Satki. Let's these guys go and auto resolve against this Swedish army just to finish them off. St. Petersburg doesn't even care. Well, let's build them up. So you men replenish, you're recruiting, you're expecting cavalry, so that's no dramas. I mean, I mean the population is 100% Islam anyway, because this Imam is brilliant. So let's cross this guy over the border to start converting Finland to our way of thinking, and maybe, just maybe, sending this army that's being recruited in Prague north and land against Stockholm. Although, to be honest, we do have three armies. Four, one, two, four armies here, actually. This army may end up being retrained and landing on Stockholm. But, because I meant to end the episode earlier, I'm going to end it right here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the Ottoman Empire. Cheers, everyone.